Secret iPhone 6 features are being tipped as more leaked parts emerge. Google is experimenting with Android backups in a serious way, and is Satya Nadella up to yet another dramatic change in Microsoft? I'm Jaime Rivera, and let's get through this quick as there is a happy hour at 6 p.m., and you guys know what that means. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's begin today with what's official, though, uh, even though these news are cool, they're kind of mixed as you remember that at Google I.O. it was announced that Chromecast would be allowed for you to stream and mirror your display from your Android tablet or smartphone to your TV. That functionality is available as of today. You can simply download the application and update it and you can now have this feature. It even works with sound and it's really cool. And if you've got a Nexus device, it's part of your application and settings tray, which is great. The problem is that it doesn't work on every product right now as this is still in beta. So link to the description for the full list of products that are supported. In other official news, let's talk about LG as the company has just made some of their new GPAD tablets available in the United States, starting with the 7 inch and the 10.1 inch tablets. But uh, even though these tablets are not as compelling when it comes to specifications, my god, the price tags are just crazy. 150 bucks for the 7 inch tablet and then 250 bucks for the 10.1 inch tablet that's probably never been before seen for a 10 inch tablet particularly. And uh, yeah, again, the specs are not great, but LG tablets are actually quite cool. It would be good for you to have a look. They're available in almost every retailer right now. Now, in some very interesting rumors, probably one of the most annoying things about Android is having to migrate from one phone to the other as backup and restore features are actually quite archaic when compared to features like iCloud or other services you get in Windows Phone. So apparently Android is uh, going to evolve. Google is working on a new project where they plan to make backup and restore features more interesting, more practical, and apparently very easy to do between devices regardless of what brand you have, which is great to see. No timing on that, but hopefully very soon. Now we've got two very interesting rumors of the iPhone 6, starting with the fact that Apple is apparently investing on a more expensive vibrating motor for enhanced haptic feedback. Uh, the company's been reluctant to adopt this technology ever since the launch of the iPhone, and we've been using haptic feedback ever since Windows Mobile and probably Nokia devices previously, so apparently Apple has figured out a new way to get that done. But even more interesting is that we've got some leaked backs of the iPhone 6, and apparently these are already machined and almost ready for final production. And uh, as it turns out, that carved Apple logo at the back apparently is for the NFC antenna, another technology that Apple's been reluctant to adopt. So let's see how that goes. And finally, for the very interesting and revealing news of the day, Satya Nadella recently addressed his employees and aside from a statement that he also provided to them, he apparently wants to change everything that Steve Ballmer just started recently. Steve Ballmer wanted to turn Microsoft into a products and services company. And after that, we've got the Microsoft Surface, the acquisition of Nokia, Lumia devices, etc. And uh, no, uh, Nadella wants to turn Microsoft into a productivity and platform company. Something that sounds boring just to mention it. So it's really hard to tell exactly what that means into the Microsoft future. I mean, is the company going to continue building products or is that going to be a separate business that Microsoft is going to have? But that leads me to the question of the day. What is your top of mind of Microsoft lately? Do you like the products that they build or do you think that they're boring or do you think that they are too focused on enterprise? In my particular case, that's really my problem. I feel that Microsoft is already too focused on enterprise without that new vision. So I really don't know what to expect from the future, but leave us a comment down below. What do you think? Friends, yes, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on FuckingOut.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.